but another session of Tao Overflows. Life, a psychological lab. You know what does a lab means? A place where experiments are conducted. The medical lab, the surgery, the physics, the chemistry, etc. In psychological lab, you may find it wonder why there is lab in case of psychology students. In clinical psychology, there is a different type of lab. But in general, the lab means the students are there. There is an instructor. Instructor, one by one, blindfolds the student. And then when the student is blindfolded, he is given the instructions to do something, to walk. So it says that walk three steps forward, then pause, take one step to the left, next step to the left, and then to the right. So you have to focus on listening. Because whatever instruction is given, in a moment, it cannot be repeated. If you miss this, you miss the opportunity. This is also like, then it is also like a, the, the app for the travel or what you call that ways. You need to find out the location, the direction to a particular place. So you put on the, open the app, log in to your the, the destination where you have to reach. It will tell you the shortest distance and will start giving you the instructions. Driver can not use the, the video app. He can have only the audio. He have to listen to the audio. It says 800 meters drive, then turn to the left. But if you miss that exit where the app has told you, you will have to, you cannot turn right there or reverse or anything on the highway or byway. You have to go forward until you meet the next exit and come back and this. Something like this happens in life. Existence gives signals, hints moment to moment. It comes in various forms. These instructions or hints are given to you and you alone. It is for no one else. When in a psychology lab, an instructor gives the instruction, you are blindfolded, you cannot see, your only you have to focus on the art of listening and your judgment at that moment. How precise you are in the, that time, you have to have a total concentration and listen to the instruction that is given to you. Follow, while following the instruction, you have to make sure the, there is a normal step. You are not galloping. You are not taking a stride. You are taking the steps in a normal way. Then you have to know which is left, which is right, and you have to turn accordingly. In the app, you are hearing the sound. But there is, your attention is on two fronts. Number one, on the listening. And number two, on the road that you are driving. So you cannot look at the app. You put open the app. The login to the destination where you have to go. And then you listen to the instructions and follow them verbatim without bringing your own conclusions, this is good, that is bad, nothing of that nature. In life, existence gives you moment to moment 
hints. Whereas in psychology lab, you are given instructions only when you are doing the experiment in the lab. The app, the travel app gives you the instructions only when you are driving and that too for a certain period of time while you are in the car, in the, your vehicle and your app is on and it is giving you the directions how to proceed in order to reach your destination. It also tells you the time, the distance and if there is any traffic jam it tells you. But in life situation is different. It is not like um, the an experiment you are performing in the lab or you are the driving for an hour or two in order to reach your destination. Life is a 24 hours journey. You are moving towards your destination. If your life is a spiritual, so every moment, it is said and there is an adage in English, catch the fortune by the forelock. So when an instruction is given, you may say that this instruction, this hint may be wrong, it may be my hallucination, or if you mention it to someone, the person will say that these kind of things happen, but you have to focus on your intuition. On your conch right now the consciousness is not developed, so you have to focus on your intuition that in, in, intuition and then you have to have a trust that existence always gives you signals. It gives you the hints from time to time. Ever since you are born and you have developed this, uh, the sense of understanding, it starts giving you instruction. Someone mentioned that from early teens, the person was getting the hints. So sometimes you consider the hints as your own hallucination. But you have to remember every hint that comes to you, it is meant for you. It is the existence is communicating to you, guiding you along your path. And so once you follow the instructions as it is, and it is not that instruction comes today and you follow sometimes later. You, the same way as the instruction, you are in transit. Life, in life you are in transit. You have come into life, you are in transit, you have to move very cautiously and you cannot delay understanding the judgment. So when an instruction comes to you, you ponder. When it happened, I was growing. I needed a kind of inspiration to create for me. How can I create the instructions? Because the, if I create, love can be one of the inspiration. So, the what Pluto calls platonic love. So you create an, an love. That, but that person may not exist at that time. But later on you realize this person always existed and has been guiding you along the lines. So when I was not in the job, there was problems. In India it is difficult if you are not in job, you are considered, you are looked upon no matter how intelligent, how learned, qualified you are. It is the respect comes with the, uh, the job that you have. So I needed something that I create to inspire me. So I created an imaginary name in 1977 that this person is my beloved. And inspiration Existential inspiration is coming to me through this person. The name was imaginary. So that time it was an imagination and it was not a, a feeble, a faintest idea. 
that time that this person may exist but there was trust this person will appear at a time when the time is right so similar thing begins to happen to the other person also because as Aurobindo says in Savitri we are not aliens nor as a strangers join we are bound to each other by a causeless force it is that it is like a Wi-Fi system the you may not know someone but the Wi-Fi connection connects you so internet the existence know when to connect these two people together and sometimes you will realize in life that you did not have the faintest idea that you will meet this person ever in life this is the imagination and image in your mind or a hint that was there given to you by the existence you did not trust it or you trusted it but again you doubted very many times that I wonder if this is a reality or this is my hallucination no at that moment think that existence is wiser than you but you are operating at the level of the mind mind creates doubts so going beyond the doubt at that moment is your intuition in the moments when there is the situation of indecision it is your intuition that guides you the inner voice and then the same inner voice over the period of time develops as consciousness then consciousness takes over and you are now operating through the consciousness so always remember life a psychological lab I did not say the physical the biological lab or the anatomy or physiology lab because there you are working on a different um, body you are working on a, another body to do the surgery or dissection physics you are working on the matter but in psychological lab you are working on your own mind and its various dimensions that's why life is a psychological lab every moment existence gives you instructions and you have to follow it understand it first understand it have trust in the existence and then follow it only this much for this morning sessions like these will continue you can send your messages questions and i will go on speaking on various topics next one i will speak on the present state of wars but that will be a longer so I will speak tomorrow and take some historical precedence before I come on the war thank you very much for viewing this take care and do have a pleasant day